Hello guys, welcome back to another Android Firebase tutorial. In the last episode, we already learned about how to send simple push notification using Firebase. In this video, I'm going to show you how to send simple data messages along with a Firebase notification. Here we are going to send the notification and data from Firebase console. Here is our Android application. I already add Firebase to this Android application. Here is the Firebase instance ID service. Here we get the registration token, FCM registration token from the on token refresh method and we save the FCM registration token to the shared preference. In the main activity dot Java, first we receive the FCM registration token from the shared preference and we send the FCM registration token to the application server using Voli. And here is our application server. Here I use a local host. Here is the table that contain only one column called the FCM token. So we can save the FCM registration token to this database. So now I'm going to run this application. Okay, now the application available on this virtual device. Now we can check the database. Refresh that table. And here is the FCM registration token. Now we are going to consider two test cases of this application. Here is the first test case. And the first test case is application in the background. If your application in the background, the notification is delivered to the device system tray. If the user tap the notification, it will open the application launcher activity by default. That is what happens to the notification. Now consider what happens to the data. The data payload is delivered in the extras field of the indent of your activity, of your launcher activity. That is happens to the data field. Now we are going to implement this first test case. So for display the data messages, here I am going to add a text view to the activity main.xml file. Add a larger text view. Add some text on it message appear here id is text view now go to main activity dot java declare the needed variables here we need some variables for text view i name it as text view Now declare some string variables, string message, no new messages, now we can initialize the text to view variable, initialize the text to view. find it using find view by id method okay now we can check there is an extras field available with the indent of this activity so check that one If get indent dot get extras 
not equal to null. That means there is an extra field available with the intent of this activity. So in that case, we can receive the data from the extra field. So message equal to get intent dot get extras dot get string and specify the key for the data. Here the key is message. Here we need to check something. If message is null. In that case, we can set some value for this string variable message. No new message. So now we receive the data from the indent. Now we can set it on the text view. So text view dot set to text. And display the message. That's it. Okay, now we can test our application. So run it. Now we can send a notification to this device. So here is the FCM registration token. We have to copy this FCM registration token. Now go to Firebase console. Now go to the notification area. Now send a new message. Specify a message text. Click to view the message. Now we need to send it to a single device. Specify the FCM registration token. Now use the advanced options. Here you need to specify a notification title. New message arrived. Now here you can specify the data field. Here you need to specify the key for the data. Here I specify the key as message. Now specify a value for the data. Good morning. Now we can send the message. So, so before going to send the message here I am going to make sure that now the application in the background. Now send it. Okay, now the notification arrived on this virtual device. With title new message arrived and message click to view the message. So if a user click the message, it will open the launcher activity. And here is the data message. Good morning. So that is the first test case. Now we are going to consider the second test case of this application. The second test case is if the application in the foreground. If your application in the foreground, both data and notification payload are delivered in the on message received method of Firebase messaging service. Now we are going to implement the second test case. So here we need to add another service. So we have to add a new Java class. Create a new Java class with the class name FCM Messaging Service. That extends Firebase Messaging Service. Here you need to override a method called on message received. Here we are going to create our own notification. So here I add a new notification. First here I specify an indent object that point to main activity. Set some flag on it. Specify a pending indent create a notification combat builder. We can set the properties of the notification using this builder. We set the content title. We get the title of the notification. 
we set the content text for the notification we get the body of the notification from the remote message and finally we create a notification manager variable and finally we display the notification okay so here the here there is a data messages is associated with the notification so we have to receive the data so first we need to check if there is a data available so remote message dot get data dot size is greater than zero that means there is a data available with this notification in that case we need to retrieve the data so create a variable called a string message so remote message dot get data dot get now specify the key for the data here the key is message now we need to create some variables for bundle equal to new bundle now add the string data to this bundle put string specify key for it here the key is message now specify the data now we need to add the bundle to the intent so intent dot put extras and pass the bundle data now we need to add this service to the manifest file so go to android manifest.xml i copy the service now we need to change the action of the service change the class name here it is firebase messaging service now we need to change the action it is firebase messaging event copy this one replace this line okay now we can test the application run it okay now the application in the foreground now copy the FCM registration token now go to firebase console send a new message specify a message title message text here click to view message now select a single device specify the FCM registration token now select advanced options here specify a notification title new message arrived now specify your custom data specify a key for the data message now specify value good evening okay now we can send the data so now here the application in the foreground now send the message send it and here the notification arrived I click this notification and here is the data message this is how we send some data with a notification in Firebase thank you for watching see you in the next episode